And uh, you can see I added the circuit that I shared the schematic on right here. And uh, one thing to uh, note as well, you can see I'm just using my uh, audio uh, plugs here to uh, connect the white noise generator back to my original input source. So I can still use my iPhone or a separate signal generator just by plugging in here. And the way I'm coupling the uh, white noise back to the circuit here, of course, is just using a jumper to tie the two in together. One thing, let me grab the uh, schematic here that's worth noting. On the uh, white noise uh, generator here, the schematic that I shared, again, I'm using 18 volts, and I was able to take the 18 volts uh, directly from this circuit. But one thing to note, you can see uh, what I had to do on the uh, ground side, since the way I had the uh, batteries tied together to get a ground, a plus nine, negative nine to drive the uh, IC1 here, the nine volt rail negative and the plus, I needed to put a, a capacitor here so I didn't create a short. Um, so on the ground side or the zero volt side going to the white noise uh, generator just added a, a 0.15 microfarad uh, cap here off of the uh, negative side and uh, that uh, mitigated the issue. Let me uh, flip this on and uh, plug it in. Again, this would be my original input source. And uh, this is the white noise generator itself. So you can hear and I'll toggle back and forth here. So this is again the uh, foil side here or the outside shield of the uh, capacitor there where we have the loudest amount of uh, noise occurring the way I have the uh, switch configured. So it was a quick and simple way for me to add this uh, on board and uh, not have to worry about using my iPhone or a separate uh, signal generator. But again, if I choose to do so, I can just unplug from here and uh, plug this uh, source uh, directly into my uh, signal generator or alike. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Again, I'll update and make uh, both of these schematics uh, available.